Starting in mountain position, feet together, palms facing forward, just gently closing the eyes down. Splaying the fingers wide. Just taking a moment to connect with the mat. Slowing the mind, slowing the body down. Starting to inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. So every inhale, we invite new energy, new life to the body. Every exhale, imagine you are misting up a pane of glass in front of you. Hearing an audible exhale. Feeling the chest rise and fall. Eventually begin to inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. Engaging the whisper muscles on the back of the throat, creating a ujjayi breath. Still keeping those eyes closed down. Start to tuck the tailbone under, growing tall through the crown of the head, shoulders back and down. Take an inhale, raise the shoulders to the ears. Exhale back and down. Continue with the breath. Every time you draw those shoulders back, think about the scapula drawing down the spine. Inhaling. Exhale, creating space across the collarbones. Let's take three more here. And two. One more. Keeping the eyes closed down, drop chin to chest. Feel the back of the neck lengthen. Taking the head to the left. Feeling that stretch down the right hand side of the body. Back to centre and to the right. back to center starting to take some rotations in there maybe noticing how tight we are maybe it feels as if we're tearing velcro so just be patient here use that breath two more in this direction going in the opposite direction Two more. One more. Coming back to centre. Bring the palms together. Rub the palms. Generate some heat. Take the palms over the eyes. Splay the fingers and gently blink the eyes open. Draw the hands back towards the heart centre and release down. Inhale, take the hands above the head. Exhale, hands through the heart centre and release. Inhale, hands above the head. Exhale, hands through the heart center and release down. One more time, we inhale, hands above the head. Exhale, hands through the heart center. This time, hinge at the hips, fold forward. Let the head hang heavy here. Let the arms sway. Maybe taking hold of each elbow, ragdoll. Feeling the back of the legs lengthen. Release the elbows, put a bend in the knees and slowly roll the body up. Stacking each vertebra, tucking the tailbone under, shoulders back and down as we arise. Inhale. Exhale. Fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Draw those shoulders back, push the sit bones to the back of the room. Exhale, fold forward. Step your right foot back. Left foot back, high plank, tuck the tailbone. Try and bring the weight over the fingertips. We hold. Drop down to the knees. Draw the weight forward and lower all the way down before pushing through to our upward facing dog. Gaze to the sky. Pushing the front of the feet down into the mat, we find our up dog. Thighs are off the mat. Inhale here. Exhale, roll over the toes. Downward facing dog. 
walking the dog out here. So lifting one heel and the other. Gaze towards the belly button. Inhale, exhale, right foot towards the sky. Put a bend in the knee, open up those hips. Trying to kick the left bum cheek. Really open those hips. Stay here or flip your dog. Reaching towards the front of the room. Hips high. Inhale, exhale, back to our three-legged dog. Inhale, exhale, sweep that foot forward, drop the left knee down. Coming up into our low lunge. Inhale here. Exhale. Take the left hand down. Open the chest towards the ceiling. Spinal twist. Thanks, Brent. Back to our low lunge. Took the left toes. Can we reach up? Roll the shoulders back. Bring the hands to the heart center. We twist to the right, so we hook our left elbow over our right knee. Keep pushing the palms in together, open up that chest. If you want here, you can open up further. Back to centre, release the hands down, three-legged dog. Down dog, walk that dog out. Inhale, exhale, left foot towards the ceiling. Thanks, friend. <laughs> Bend in the knee. Open up those hips. Staying here or flip that dog. Wild thing. Hi. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale. Back to three legged dog. Sweep that foot to land forward. Low lunge. Shoulders back and down. Lifting up through the rib cage. Inhale. Exhale. Right hand down, left towards the ceiling, spinal twist. Back to centre, took the right toes, we lift up, high lunge. Here, Prince, go away. Hands to the heart centre, we take the right elbow, tuck along that left knee, pushing palms in towards each other, opening the chest. Again, if you wish, opening up here. Back to centre. Hands down, three-legged dog. Down dog. Dropping down to the knees, let's find our child's position. Drawing the palms forward, coming back into a tabletop position. Let's run through some cat cow. Inhaling cat, gaze the ceiling, shoulders back and down. Exhale through to cat, chin to chest, round that spine. Maybe closing the eyes down here, flowing in your own breath. Maybe freestyling, looking over one shoulder, the other. Rotating the chest, the hips, wherever you want to go with this. Back to centre, tuck the toes, down dog. Inhale, exhale, right foot towards the ceiling. Flip your dog, lifting those hips high. Back to three-legged dog. Inhale. Exhale, sweep the right foot to land between the hands. We rise up. Inhale. Exhale, drop your left foot down, warrior two. Gaze over that middle ring finger. Strong and active in your stance. Make sure that right knee is not coming forward. It's coming back. Hips are straight. Can you get deeper into that front knee? Rotating the front hand, we reach forward and extend our warrior. Back to warrior two. Turn your right toes and left toes to face forward, hands to the hips. Growing tall through the crown of the head, shoulders back and down, we inhale. On the exhale, start to hinge at the hips, forward fold. 
hands come down onto the mat. Bring the weight into the balls of the feet. Take the left hand to the centre of the mat, opening up towards the ceiling. Replace that left hand down, right hand, and opening up on the opposite side. Back to centre, hands to the hips, coming all the way up to a standing position. Hinge on the toes till we face the front of our mat. Bring the left foot forward slightly. Right foot toward the top of the mat. Hands to the hips or towards the heart centre. Start to pivot on that foot until we come into our warrior three. So staying here or extending the arms into our flying warrior or aeroplane arms. If you want to challenge, take the arms forward, lengthen that warrior. Release the hands to the mat, standing slips. Maybe the right hand comes around the ankle, bringing the chest closer towards the thigh. Starting back again. Our standing splits. Release the left foot down, fold forward, and slowly roll the body up to a standing position. Shoulders back and down. Inhale, hands above the head. Exhale, hands through the heart center, hinging forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward, jump the feet back. Bring the weight over the fingertips, start to lower before pushing through to an upward facing dog. Roll over the toes, down dog. Inhale, exhale, left foot towards the ceiling. Swinging that left foot through, rising up. Roll the shoulders back and down, low lunge. Can we get deeper? Drop the right foot down, transitioning into our warrior two. Reaching forward, we flip the palm and rotate. Back to warrior two. Hands to the hips, take the left foot forward. Forward fold, coming all the way down. If you can come into a handstand here, feel free. We're coming all the way down, or a headstand. All the way down, hands maybe meet the mat. And up to you, you can begin to transition into a headstand. Or simply stay in a forward fold. Hands to hips. Coming all the way up to a standing position. Start to pivot the feet forward, coming to the top of the mat, left foot forward. Hands to the hips or the heart centre. Starting to hinge into our warrior three on the opposite side. Again, your choice. Hands to the heart, we come into aeroplane wings. Or for that extra challenge, arms forward. When you're ready, drop the hands to the mat. Find your standing splits. Release that foot down. Put a bend in the knees. And slowly start to roll all the way up. To a standing position. Shoulders back and down. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to take three rounds of our vinyasa. So flow through. Again, use your own variations. Inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Maybe coming into a three-legged vinyasa. Jumping to the top of the mat, coming all the way up. Inhale. Exhale, finding your own flow. Meeting back at the top of the mat, finding your Tadasana. So palms facing forward, feet together. J 
gently closing the eyes down. Reconnecting with the breath. Taking five more breaths here. On the fifth breath, we take it, inhale, hands above the head. Exhale, hands through the heart center. Hinging at the hips, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. This time coming all the way down onto the mat. Then extend the legs out in front of you, toes pointing up. Let's take the right foot to the inside of that left shin. Inhale, hands above the head. Exhale, rotating, fold forward. Every exhale, can you get a little deeper? Coming all the way back up, finding a forward fold. Inhale, lift up through that rib cage. Exhale, fold over the feet. If you need to put a slight bend in the knees, please do so. Back to centre, taking left foot to the inside of that thigh. Take it, inhale, hands above the head. Exhale, rotating, fold over that leg. Every exhale, see if you can get a little deeper. Back up to a seated position. Bring the soles of the feet together. Finding our reverse tabletop, so fingers towards the glutes, soles of the feet coming down onto the mat, lifting those hips high, head falls back. Releasing all the way down, bringing feet into a tabletop position or extending up towards the ceiling. Hold here. Finding that balance between the sit bones where the body starts to shake. Inhale, exhale, right foot to the mat. Inhale up. Exhale, left heel towards the mat. Inhale up. We continue right and left. Right and left. We go right. And left for four and three, two and one. Draw the knees back to a tabletop position. Coming forward, fold forward. Come back up to a seated position. Extend the legs out, arms out. We slowly start to lower. Low back connected to the mat, heels raised. We hold here. Can we inhale? Exhale down. Good. Let's go for six more here. So eight in total for five and four, three and two and one. Can you hold, extend those legs all the way up towards the ceiling before releasing all the way down onto the mat? Closing the eyes down here. Draw the knees in towards the chest, having a rock from side to side. Taking the left hand on top of the knee, coming into a spinal twist. Right arm out in a T-shape or cactus arm. Just closing the eyes down here. back to center, over to the right. Back 
like to centre finding a happy baby. So staying still or rocking from side to side or bringing the soles of the feet together, whatever feels good for you. And in your own time, releasing the legs down, shaking the hips from side to side and palms facing up towards the ceiling. Closing the eyes down and inviting your body into Shavasana. Allowing the body to take all the time it needs to. Stay here for as long as you can. And as always, guys, thank you for your time.